Good morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So before we get into the chart, small account is growing again, uh, 12,109. So that was a respectable 5.67% uh, uh, gain, but it was actually a disastrous day in my eyes because I was up 17, well, 16, 17% at one stage and uh, promptly lost 10% uh, with some really stupid um, decisions trying to to boost my ego, which uh, rather shattered my ego, uh, which is probably also a good thing. But anyway, uh, it is positive, which is the good part of it, but uh, we just need to be a little bit more structured and uh, a little bit more unemotional, which is the challenge when you're winning. Okay, so right now we have this daily level here at 13200, okay? It is fairly significant. Okay, it is also the 50% Fibonacci, and uh, it also pretty much tests the alligator on the daily. So I just want to put that level in, and we can go query this on the lower time frames. So that's pretty much where I suspect we're going to find some buyers stepping in. Okay, now there's a couple of things that I know a lot of you are going to be asking right now. So those are my two levels. So I've got that fractal there. Let me just tidy that up. And then I have this fractal here. And then I have a third one as well, which is also important. But I think what's more important is this gap. Okay. So um, some of you are going to be asking, this is a break of the double top. Okay. There's our double top. Up, down, up, down break below. So should we not be chasing this target? So let's just put that block in. We can make it really messy for us. Okay. So should we not be short chasing this target? And my comment on that is pretty simple. Yes, we've broken down, but the trend is still up doesn't matter that we've crossed the alligator. I want to see a retest of that alligator or a retest of this break of 13264. If that retest um, happens and we start rolling off it, that is the signal that the trend has changed and we can now start targeting 13093. Okay, until that happens, this is a pullback of this big move. We're at the 50% Fibonacci, the 61.8 is just below here as well. So this is an area where I expect buyers to step in, even if it is just to come and test this area, um, or alternatively push back through and carry on moving to the upside. Okay, so until there's a confirmation, I am not changing the direction of my trade. Okay, hope that makes sense. Um, if you look at the hour at the moment, yes, the trend is down. So yesterday you were looking pretty much should have been looking for shorts, uh, although it was a messy move, and we found some support on the 200 EMA here, but we are short of the levels I'm looking for. Now if I just use this level there, see there's an hour fractional as well, so you need to bring these hour fractionals in. And remember, I'm not looking at these ones here, okay, I'm looking at the ones where price has already gone past. So these ones here are only valid now. Okay, um, and if we look at the 30 minutes, uh, trend is still down on the smaller time frame. So smaller time frame trading, you you are working with the trend. You, you keep looking for shorts, keep moving it to the downside, waiting for structure, and structure is coming. Okay, this is one hour structure, and this is the big structure. This is daily structure that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm still expecting another squirt down into this area, and this to me would be a buying area with a very tight stop. Okay, um, so, and the reason for that is on the bigger time frames, it's my trend to the upside. The smaller time frames, yes, we are moving to the downside, but uh, you've got to take cognizance of your big time frames. I and mean, this is a great example where you've got confirmation of lower time frames. Keep trading with the trend until you find your big levels. Here's my big levels here, and this is where I start getting cautious because this could be the reversal area. Okay, 
and uh, at 12 minutes you'll see how volatile and messy this was so as expected yesterday there was an upside fractional and there was our downside fractional so what we're looking for is a break of this we've got a gap down and the wise decision here is not to chase it because jumping in down here gives you a 51 point stop loss which is not that big but the reality is if you waited for the retest which happened here okay that was your entry and your stop was up there you're talking about a 12 I mean you could have pushed it to 15 or even 20 points if you wanted to but a 12 point stop loss the amount of contracts you can put on for that is significant because your risk 2% risk is going to be fairly low and you could have chased down to the hour but in all honesty I think you would be wise to still be holding on to that and move to the downside okay and not to be worried about the US Open this is when the US opens here okay uh, today more of the same I suppose uh, let's just get rid of all the noise that fractal break to the upside would trigger a lower time frame trend reversal I'm not comfortable with that because we do have a daily uh, level just below here so my take on this and we do really have a close below this fractal is we want to see a break below this to the downside come and tag these levels and then look for structure here to to anticipate a reversal and get a, a long or fat level okay so there it is there okay so I break below that come down to here at 13194 what wait for structure and when we talk about structure we're looking for this kind of stuff so there's a piercing pattern there's an inside bar that's a potential double double bottom take the trade and hopefully it runs far okay so that's kind of my view for today and if we just Get some confirmation on the 12 minute you can see i've got a bullish cross we're in price uh, that's bearish and um, this is neutral if we look at the 30 minutes everything is bearish at the moment and only really a break above this fractal here uh what's that 13278 would reverse the trend but remember it's going to come up to the cloud bounce back down back the cloud bounce down then break through the cloud so that's what you to expect and if you look at the hour we've broken through the cloud but I want to see a retest of the cloud and we did get one retest here so again you're looking for a move back to to this area here and if I look to the left you'll see that's the bottom of the double top and that's what I'm expecting I'm expecting that to offer some resistance if it offers a lot of resistance then we're just going to plummet and then this will play out but at this stage um, we're coming up to big level I think that's the trade on offer for our trend is up although we've broken through Kijinson and again if you look at where Kijinson is it's the underside of the double bottom it lines up with other structure so that is a key level 13272 so any move to the downside which is one of those two levels there okay so it's either 13196 or 13182. Any move into this area here is worthy of a long. Your stop is going to be uh, it's a fairly long stop. It's a 99 point stop. You need to be below this pin bar here. Um, or alternatively, if you are bravish, uh, you can look for a, I would say, a 40 point stop loss. Get below this uh, flat Kijinson here. Okay, 40 point stop loss. Keep the position relatively small until you get some structure, then add to the position. And if you look at the daily, look where my daily Kijinson is here. It's a little bit further down, and I suspect that's on a Fibonacci level. Let's just confirm. Just below the 50%. So 50% is on the levels that we've got here. So that daily Fibonacci level is another area to be watching for. So you're not Fibonacci, uh, Kijinson and Tikinson, that's flat. So this is 13162. 
Okay, now there's a lot going on in this area, and if you look at the last month, I mean, that's kind of where we hovered around as well. Okay, so that's the structure that I see at the moment. Um, really looking for longs off this level. So anywhere between uh, 13,162 and 13,196, that's the area that I'm looking for longs. And if you look at the daily, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I've got a, a rally. I have a double bottom here. And let's just add another bit of confusion here for this. There's my double bottom. My double bottom target has not been met. And my double bottom target is the previous all-time highs. Okay, so we've had a break here. We haven't had a retest. And this is what I suspect is happening with a retest at a Fibonacci level. Then my second move, which is this long move here, will play out. Okay, the yeah, alternative is that this double top plays out to the downside, which is also possible, since we're just uh, meandering up and down through the um, the cloud at the moment, which is always an indication of range. Okay, but yeah, that's my view at the moment. Looking for a long off these levels, and then we'll have a look and see whether we get to thirteen two seven two. Uh, definitely take profit there and watch what happens if it starts rolling. That's a short tight stop, and then I'm playing this. But at this stage, I'm playing a previous pattern, which is the double bottom. Okay, here we go. That's it for me today. Hope it makes sense. Uh, rather complicated at the moment with uh, the uh, volatility in the markets. Okay, um, hope that helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.